I've had some experience in the great country of Finland, and they are completely unselfconscious about their bodies. Is it that way when you're living in, in, in Sweden? Yeah, I mean, let's just put it this way. I've been naked in a sauna with my grandfather and father and cousins. I mean, that's just kind of how it works, which is not necessarily how you want it to work, but it just does. <laughs> Yeah, that would never happen. Nope. Any, uh... It wouldn't. I mean, I was young. I don't still do that to this day. But, you know, when you're a kid, it's kind of like, you know, your parents are kind of, you, you see them nude. You see nudity. You see nudity. That is, yeah. Until you're, t you know, past 10, it kind of, that goes away. But it's very open and you see nudity on television and it's not, it's... it's... There's nudity on television? Uh -huh. But I mean, and not just like, you know, we have nudity on television, but you got to pay for that extra channel. Right. And <laughs> yeah. You got to wait till the kids are asleep right. and you got to lock yeah. the door. You're talking about, you're just watching their version of Sesame Street and a nude guy. No, well, well, no, no. Big Bird or... Like hey, Snuffleupagus, you know? <laughs> No, Check no, me no, out, you know what I mean? That. It's not, we're not that crazy. Right. That, that's, uh, that, right, that, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. That yeah. would be crazy. I think what, I'm, what I'm describing. I remember when I was in Finland, they were always saying, you must come to sauna. And you'd go in and it was just penises everywhere. Exactly. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. It was like opening a, a shack filled with yeah. penises. Yes, that's what happened. And, um, and they're all like, you take a sauna, in. sauna, and you've got to go in the sauna. And then they love to jump into the ocean. Yes. It's freezing. Freezing cold, dead of yeah. winter. And penises that's... shrink and then yeah. back to the sauna. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the national pastime. Can you pastime. believe that, that, that people do that? Like you go and you, we have like midsummer celebrations and stuff and you go to people's country places. With, now you're like in your early 20s, maybe in your late teens, and you're in saunas naked with your buddies. And you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's quite the tradition. Yeah. It's really, I. I'm going there very soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going there and I'm staying there for a long there. time. Gotta get back there, yeah. Yeah. Because I need to get comfortable with my new body. <laughs> Mostly I need other people to get comfortable with my <laughs> new body. Okay. Which has never once happened. Um, <laughs> you have. When you get, you know, this is going to sound like a weird question, but when you get, do you get homesick or ever for the traditions in Sweden? I do, I do, you know, and and mainly it's the food, um, because that's always what feels like home, you know, the smell of food. So I go to IKEA, and um, <laughs> yeah, really? I do. you go to IKEA. I do. I go that's to fantastic. IKEA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're Swedish meatballs. They're pretty good. Are they? Is now good. the Swedish meatballs that you get at IKEA? Are they the real deal? I mean, they're not the real deal. But they're, it's probably not even real meat. But it's uh, it it it's pretty close. It's pretty close. I mean, we we usually fry ours in in, in butter, and it's, they're crispy on the outside. Sure. They boil these, and then you know. So it's it's like a really watered down version of the real Swedish meatballs. You you tweeted a picture recently of an authentic Swedish meal, and I don't even know what's happening here. It it <laughs> it looks kind of like an accident of some kind. <laughs> It looks like uh, an industrial accident. What What's happening in this photo? I see two hot dogs, yeah. is that safe to say? Two hot dogs, mashed potatoes, um, crisp onion, uh, ketchup, and mustard, and it is uh, And is it all in a taco shell? In a, in a tortilla, yeah, tortilla you wrap shell? it up. And you can actually buy this at like 7-Elevens or um, gas stations. You can buy that at 7-Eleven? Yeah. yeah, it's called Tumbrasrulla. Say that again? Tumbrasrulla. Tumbrasrulla. <laughs> You just made it sound like the Tumba Strula. <laughs> I want a cuckoo clock where the little bird comes out and goes, Tumba Strula. <laughs> Every hour on the hour. I'll, I'll make that happen. So you can get that at 7 Eleven. Yeah, you Only totally if you, can. At 7 Eleven, it was manufactured in the late 50s, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're a sponsor, I should. Yeah.